You asked for it, you got it. More of It's Pronounced Jordan. I'm just going to make up a sponsor to this segment. <laughs> Brought to you by Pizza Hut. <laughs> no, no, not. I mean, not Pizza Hut. No, Is that a, no, no, no. Oh, no, we no, can't say that? No, okay. we cannot. Papa John's. You know why? Okay. No, <laughs> shut up. No. Stop. No. Marco's. Marco, Marco's. Marcos. Marcos. That's what I meant. Listen, Richard Scott over at Marcos <laughs> is a sponsor of the program. I got to get a handle of this. I don't eat at Pizza Hut. I eat at Marcos. That, Thank that was you. just that was just coming off the top. Yeah. No, I actually eat at Marcos. They have a phenomenal Italian sub sandwich. It's a baked sub and it is so delightful. I'm a pizza uh, man. Well, let me tell you, their pizza I look, there are a couple of places if I'm eating out, I may go somewhere that has a larger drink selection, <laughs> right. but for in home, right? I'm not kidding you. Once a week, mm-hmm. once a week. And by the way, they have these little uh, uh, frequent diner cards, and I get them. I get it punched every time I go in there. Mm-hmm. And it's right by Kroger. My eighth, my eighth pizza is free. How about those apples? No, not apples. No, pizza. pizza. <laughs> How about that? I know, and then you can like pick up your uh, your froyo right across the street. It's great. It's a convenient location. I love it. It's it right around the corner from my house, mm-hmm. so I go. Oh yeah, pick up my, that would be nice. Yeah. I pick up my beverages and I, I swing by and I get it and I call and and since I I, I they're so great customer service. Uh, when I go, uh, I call them up. Uh, they almost always ask if I want the stuff that I always ask for. Right. Because uh, oh, I know I love being the norm um, of some place. You know, I was the norm of Anders Bookstore. Ron and I, Were we, you have, really? we have this history. We haven't gone into it too. You much. do. You do have a history. But, and one uh, day when he's here, I want to hear all of it. Yeah, it was. You know, there was some tension. There was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked. There, <laughs> I'm shocked that appalled to hear. We, we've buried it. Good. Good. Um, no, he. Uh, <laughs> Speaking yeah, of Jay no Jacobs, good, right? <laughs> Sorry, that was wrong. All right, that was wrong. Rich. That was wrong. Mm, that was bad. That was bad. All right. So, what do you got next for us? Well, you know, I'm looking around here, and I'm looking around, and uh, I well, can I well, can I mention why you're looking. I'm going to mention a story that has nothing to do with sports. Lay it on me. But I saw this on the website, and it brought back so many memories. <laughs> and it's a very small little story that you've got up there, but it's a picture from, I believe, the 1973 glomerata mm-hmm. of a co-ed in Haley Center puffing away. Oh, yeah. Puffing away on a cigarette in Haley Center in class. In class. In the middle of class with a big old, and you can tell what it is. You know those, oh, yeah. the the, uh, the round, they were about the size of a trash can, but the right, old right. ashtrays that, that stood about the size of a trash can, and they had the silver tops that you could lift. It's well, The top of one of those is sitting on her desk. Right. Totally, she, there's no more room for books or anything. No. It's while just she an just, ashtray. While she, <laughs> just, while she just holds it in the air with a little flamboyant flare. And I know. Just, Aren't you in love? You know <laughs> <laughs> wasn't exactly the emotion I mean, that came over me. I but. mean, you're just looking at this. Uh, yeah, no, it, yeah, it's great. And, uh, and then, you know, there's pictures. You know, they had they had cigarette machines like around, camp, you know, in the door. Well, it was what's, a great time. What's <laughs> sure if you were? In, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. If you're it into great. emphysema, it's a great. Time. <laughs> yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> Wait, what what was crazy about that is I you know I started t- I was talking with a friend of mine. Yeah, you know, what's crazy is I remember sitting in movie theaters. Mm-hmm. And and seeing smoke. I remember when they began to, you know, all right, no more smoking in movie theaters. That was a huge thing. I remember getting on an airplane when I was a junior, I think I was a junior in high school. And I was sitting in the non-smoking section. Right. Three seats behind me. There's nine guys right. sharing a pack of Pall Malls, <laughs> you know. Right. But I was safe because right. I was in the non-smoking no, section. I know. It was the good old days. It was I, crazy. You know, I'm, you know, it, it, uh, Obviously, it's it's a it's a horrible sure it's habit. Bad. We don't it's, you know, no, we do not condone this segment brought to you by <laughs> <laughs> Nicoderm. Um, you but, can pull uh, that one off, right. by the way, <laughs> or Nicorette. Is it Nicoderm? I think, the I think there's both. <laughs> Nicorette is Nicorette is the gum. Nicorette is the gum. Nicoderm is the patch. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's I sad know, that you, I know this. I, I I I don't smoke. But you know, it just had this feeling. You know, when you were walking around camp. But you know, I, I you know my freshman year was ninety seven, and you're walking around, and then there's a girl, and you know, you're like, man, look at all these kids. You know, exercising their freedom. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh yeah. And you could kind of smell. You know, and then like the. I don't know. It was, it was like it smelled like, you know, closed cigarettes to me <laughs> smell like college. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. You know, when you go by the old place, you know. Kind of uh, has a patchouli feel to it, right. doesn't it? You know what I mean? <laughs> right. You know, and it was just kind of like, you know, I'm not doing it. You know, I know you miss things. You miss things. 
<laughs> anyway, no idea where this segment no, right, went. I'm well, sorry. All right, well, so but yeah, no, that that's a great thing. And um, <laughs> yeah, you should check out. There's a there's something up right now that might well it'll bring back some weird memories. You should check it out. What is it? It's called the um, the tale of the AU Squirrel Club. You should check it out. I'll, I'll look at mm, that. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll look at that. All right. All right. All right. So what do you got next? What do you got next for us? What else did you bring? You got well, other other things? Yeah, we got some. Yeah, okay. we got something good, and it'll okay. be it'll it'll be something that'll soak up. Some time. <laughs> it'll be good. It's uh, you know, <laughs> this year is 2012. Yes, 2012. 40 years ago was what? 1972. Yes. 40 year anniversary of El Amazons. Oh, this really? year. That's right. And there's I'm sure there's going to be some you know. Big oh, yeah. action, anyway. sure. So uh, anyway, and explain to, if people don't know that w- what we're talking about. Right, nineteen seventy two. Yeah, Amazons went ten and one. I yes, think that was a record. Ten and one, and uh, we're expected to go like negative <laughs> ten. <laughs> they were supposed and to one. Yeah, th- that's right. Or ne- yeah, negative one or whatever. Yeah, it was they supposed, supposed to be horrible. They Last were, in the SEC. Yeah, they were supposed to help other teams outside right, of the conference right, win. Right, exactly. That's, no, that's basically was, what it was. They were supposed to be bad, and they you know went up against like you know number one teams like three years in a row, and right, and um, all this stuff. Anyway, but uh, yeah, it was, and then punt, bam, a punt. Of course, you know, I mean, it's this you know platonic. Auburn, almost. You know what I mean? This great. You know my whole Disney and thing. You know, I mean this. This was it. You know yes. what I mean? This is hardcore. Yes. This is what it is. And um. Anyway, so uh, an old writer you may have heard of, Louis Grizzard. Oh yes. Oh yes. I'm a big fan of Louis Grizzard. Me too. By the way. He loomed large over my youth. I, he did. T- mine mm. too. I mean, I I actually had some audio cassettes mm. of him because he would go. You wouldn't call them stand-up routines, but he would go speak, and they really were kind right. of stand-up routines. Yeah, yeah. And they made them into cassette tapes. Yeah, it was columnist for the Atlanta Journal. Yeah, Consti- or, I don't know, I think it, it was, was the, the Constitution it was, back then. Or, yeah, it, there were two papers. Right, it was right, the right. the Atlanta Journal and the Atlanta Constitution. I think he wrote for the Constitution. Yeah, but and um, and then little known uh, Rita, when he passed away mm-hmm. untimely, Rita Grimsley actually our old our old Rita. Oh yeah, Auburn Auburn oh, girl. Oh yes, plainly. she. Uh, Took over for him, filled filled the gap for yeah. a while. Yeah, yeah. FYI, I didn't know that. Right. And uh, anyway, so yeah, so Lewis wrote a big column in seventy two, or I think it was early seventy three, um, about Auburn. Really? Yeah. Because he was a Georgia guy. He was huge Georgia, huge man. Georgia guy. Right. And would you know take pot shots, you know turkey buzzards, and, <laughs> oh, gosh. and do all that stuff. You know what I mean? As, as wasps, you know those people would do. Dirt daubers. And, uh, right. But he yeah. so impressed by, you know, the... How's it? It's impossible to not be of overcome 72, with... right. Sure. I mean, everybody. Absolutely. We were America's team. Well... The universe's team. And still are. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> but sure. Right. Okay. Egypt's team. <laughs> they, they, we apparently, were Egypt's team. Apparently. And um, anyway, so he uh, he wrote this column, and I was okay. going to kind of read it. Yeah. Um, uh, about, you know, Auburn. Let's see. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Lewis Crisar. <laughs> I must admit, so this is after, by the way, so this is after the season okay. and everything. And, right. he, and it's not just the football season. He's just talking about Auburn He's talking in general, about Auburn. Okay. Right? All right. Just in general. I must admit the fact an Auburn man once saved my life has something to do with all of this. And I must admit further what follows will be completely biased. I simply couldn't allow the opportunity to pass without saying a few more words in behalf of the 1972 Auburn football team and in behalf of Auburn itself. I got my first taste of sin at Auburn. <laughs> As many of us said, Amen, brother. Hello. Mm. Speaking you of go which, to, uh, Morris Chapel United Methodist Church uh, mm, in Obelika, <laughs> South Union Royal Drive, Sunday worship, eleven eight thirty. That just happened. That was mm. fantastic. Right, right. What a great segue. <laughs> I know. That's I'm looking for oh, him everywhere. Oh. My, my friend Riley, shout out, oh. who writes for the site. Yeah, was like, yeah, you got to keep it clean this week. <laughs> Not only with the churches, but oh, the, laundromat. the laundromat. You know, Absolutely. That shut. Mm. Both of them going to right. we'll get you clean. Twenty four seven. Right. Get you clean. All right. I got my first taste of sin at Auburn. Sixteen or close to it with a bottle of old something. <laughs> An of-age friend had purchased purchased at the state store up the road at Opelika. As I recall it now, I wound up in a lonely stall in the third-floor restroom of a fraternity house while the party roared onward downstairs. There, as my life flashed in front of me, and being grateful I had at least heeded my mother's words not to smoke (coughs) in class, a kind Auburn student, a veteran of such incidents, wet-toweled me back to health. I never got his name, 
but I've been forever grateful, and I've held a warm place in my heart for Auburn ever since. How although, about that? Although I sought higher, quote-unquote, education <laughs> elsewhere. It is with that preface, I hereby state, I do indeed hope Auburn wins its Gator Bowl game against Colorado. And they totally did. <laughs> Sidebar, and that and that is the signal for all my poison pen pals from down the road in Tuscaloosa to start buying stamps. <clears throat> <clears throat> Auburn, I think of purity for some reason, of nothing to do but go to tumors and talk about what you talked about the day before and the day before that, of a low hippie ratio on campus. <laughs> Even even up until like the nineties, reporters <laughs> writing about Auburn would talk about like you know like the, you don't see any long hairs down at Auburn, and there was one there was one thing about like oh. Pat dies like oh. the eighty nine team like and the girls wear bras. <laughs> <laughs> Morris Chapel, United you know, <laughs> or Pierce Chapel and Beauregard or Hopewell, you know, Hopewell. Um, let's see. They're giving me of a low hippie ratio on campus uh, of real grass. Uh, Amen, Shug. You know what we, we we need some we need some mood music for this. To turn it up. All right, go <laughs> okay, ahead. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> of real grass growing on the football field. Oh yes. Of grown men in sweaters and open collared shirts. Absolutely. <laughs> this is all. with fifty yard line seats. I think of Gerald Rutberg, a friend of mine who edited the college newspaper at Auburn and used to ask me every day how I thought the Big Blue would do against whomever of Bottle, Alabama, which is actually a suburb of Auburn. It's actually a, a like, acre of land. It's a bedroom community. Right, right, right. <laughs> of the year out of Pat Sullivan, still the most exciting college football player I've ever seen. How about that? Rip. Yeah. Herschel. <laughs> this of, is pre Herschel. You know, yeah. Was it? Yeah, oh, this, yeah. Okay. This is pre Herschel. <laughs> 10 years. Whatever. That's okay. It doesn't matter. No. Of Suge Jordan. Oh, uh, yes. Suge. There are two remarks that still stand out in my mind concerning Suge Jordan, and those two lines say it all. I once asked Harry Mayer if he thought Suge would quit coaching amidst the illness and the rumors. Suge will coach as long as he can. He still loves the things most coaches don't think about anymore. He still loves the rah rah part of this thing. He walks onto the field and hears all that war eagle business they do down there, and Suge knows it's all worthwhile. It is. Said the old coach. That's right. The first time I went to Auburn on business, I asked former journal colleague Tom McAllister, McAllister what type of interview with Suge Jordan. Talking to Suge, Tom replied, is like talking to your daddy. Oh, isn't that sweet? Auburn. I think of the basketball coach, Bill Lynn, who looks and sound like, sounds like a hard-shelled Baptist preacher. Of journalism professor David Housel saying Auburn is the best interest is in the best interest of the American dream. It is. Of Buddy uh, the Egyptian dream. <laughs> of Buddy Davidson, who has never found either of the two top coats I have left in the Auburn press box. <laughs> Man, that would be something. Ebay, yeah, it would. Louis Grizzard's top coats. <clears throat> He's probably still got them. Probably buried somewhere. <laughs> Jay, call him Jay. <laughs> I don't know, Steve. Of Bill Beckwith. The worst, our former yeah, yeah. Uh, media yeah. director, dude. Yeah. The worst golfer in the history ever to score a hole in one or in history. Wow. Of a golf tournament they had at Auburn once and the beer they carted to you on each tee. Nice. <laughs> and of shooting 95 after being <laughs> one over through seven holes. That dang beer. <laughs> of Randy Walls. Can I keep going? Yeah, absolutely. Randy Walls was the quarterback in 1972. Oh, yeah. Sullivan's successor. Mm, yeah. He was the number four quarterback at the end of spring practice. It wasn't what Randy did for us this year, said an Auburn coach. It was what he didn't do. He didn't make mistakes. No, he didn't. Actually, he did make one. <laughs> Just one. So excited was he about starting Auburn's first game, the young sophomore went out for pregame warm-ups with his jersey on backwards. In the Georgia Tech game, Randy Walls didn't do anything right but win the football game. I didn't know Randy Walls, Walls could run like that, somebody in the press box said after a 30-yard jaunt that resembled your grandmother going after the mail. She was speedy. He can't, was the reply. <laughs> he can't, but he did. Oh, but he did. Auburn. Yes. I think of the pasture land adjacent to the campus, mm. of my favorite Auburn line, what do you get if you cross an Auburn man and a gorilla? A hairy county agent. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Also known as <laughs> Revenuers. 
<clears throat> of not being able to smoke in the Auburn Coliseum. Apparently they had higher standards at the Coliseum than they do the class. Then Haley Center. Haley, yeah. <laughs> of the old sports arena in Leighton and Leighton Johns. Of oh, Terry yeah. Henley. Oh, yes. Them FSU players bit me on the leg in the pileups, <laughs> said Terry Henley. College football's answer to Will Rogers. They <laughs> they must not have had their pregame meal. <laughs> He was tasty. <laughs> Did Terry Henley get tired carrying the football 25 times a game? No. Heck no. No. Said Terry Henley. No. I carried it 50 times a day into spring practice. <laughs> Auburn. I think of unlisting my telephone number after an irate Auburn fan, a woman, called my home and said she hoped poison darts rained out on my <laughs> body and I died. I, of can't, a f- <laughs> I can't believe they got my mom quoted in there. <laughs> Of a fellow from my hometown writing me and saying to never come back because you stink, stink, stink. And all because I wrote Pat Sullivan was Bush for not talking to writers after losing to Alabama. He probably had laryngitis or something. That's my guess. Of picking against Auburn all year long, except once, the LSU game, which was the only game we lost. Oh. Of Owen Davis's line, Jordan waved his hand and the red shirts parted. Of oh. Auburn students covering the whole town in toilet paper after the Alabama victory and somebody saying, you mean they used both rolls? Tumor's corner. Wow. <clears throat> Auburn. It went 9-1 and one when it wasn't supposed to win three. Defeated three top ten teams. Stopped the nation's longest winning streak three times. Got a bowl bid and did my heart a lot of good. Wow. Auburn. That is... <sighs> Play us off, Rich. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm out. There's not, I mean, what else? You can't follow that up. There's only one thing that could follow this up, by the way. How about that? Huh? Yes. Right out of the girl from Impanema. <clears throat> that was something special. We're, that's, we're going to remember that. <laughs> you and I. What the magic that just happened here. <laughs> it really did. I'm tangled. I kind of feel like I do need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. All right. More of the drive right after this. Stick around. (laughs)